Hello everyone, you are watching the Amazing Facts channel. Since people have learned to design flying machines, they began to be used for transportation of heavy and bulky goods. During the history of the aircraft industry, a lot of transport aircraft were created which impressed with their huge size. Today, we will show you the 10 largest cargo planes in the world. So let's go. Number 10, Antov AN-22, Anti. It is a heavy transport aircraft of the Soviet production. The largest turboprop aircraft in the world is designed for long distance transportation of heavy and large size weapons and military equipment and troops, as well as for parachute and landing methods of air assault. Currently, the aircraft is used by the Russian Air Force and the Ukraine cargo airline Antonov Airlines. The capacity of the AN-22 is 60 tons. The aircraft is equipped with four turboprop engines NK-12MA. They drive four bladed coaxial rotors, the front screw rotors to the right and to the rear to the left. The aircraft is equipped with four turboprop engine NK-12MA. They drive four bladed coaxial rotors. The front screw rotates to the right and the rear to the left and provide the machine with high speed and load capacity. The equipment of the aircraft includes a landing seat attached with straps and oxygen equipment. In total, the aircraft can accommodate 290 people on board. The length of the AN-22 is 187 feet and the wingspan is 210 feet. Number 9. Lockheed C-5 Galaxy It is an American military transport aircraft, the largest aircraft of the U.S. Air Force. In its class, the Lockheed C-5 Galaxy is capable of carrying six helicopters or two large tanks in its cargo compartment. The total weight that the aircraft can transfer is more than 118 tons. The length of the aircraft is 246 feet and the wingspan is 233 feet. Speaking of the military equipment, the aircraft can carry two main battle tanks, M1 Abrams. The aircraft can take on board 363 fully equipped fighters, 10 BBM Lab 25s, six Black Hawk helicopters, or a sealed container with intercontinental ballistic missiles, Minutemen. The first flight of the aircraft took place on June 30, 1968. A total of 81 vehicles were built to equip four squadrons, in addition, C-5 has an additional ability to load through the upwardly reclining nose of the protective glass and retractable landing gear with 28 wheels for operation with very heavy cargo from non-equipped airfields. Number 8. The Boeing C-17 Globemaster III C-17 Globemaster III is one of the most common military transport aircrafts of the U.S. Air Force. It is used to date. The aircraft is designed to transport military equipment and troops as well as to perform tactical missions. The carrying capacity of the C-17 aircraft is more than 76 tons and its length and wingspan are 173 feet and 172 feet, respectively. Boeing, which merged with McDonnell Douglas in the 1990s, continues to produce C-17s for exports to the U.S. Air Force. C-17s are in service for the U.S. Air Force, the Royal Air Force of Great Britain, Australia, Canada, the Air Force of Qatar, the United Arab Emirates, Kuwait, India, and the NATO Heavy Air Transportation System. The crew of the aircraft consists of two pilots and the operator of loading and unloading operations. The aircraft can carry up to 102 parachutists, while the main cargo bay can accommodate AN-64 Apache attack helicopters and M1 Abrams battle tanks, or 5-ton trucks. Loading is carried out through a reinforced rear cargo ramp with hydraulic drive, which can withstand loads up to 40,000 pounds. Number 7. Aerospace Lines Super Guppy Cargo plane Super Guppy was manufactured in five copies, and today only one of them is used. It is owned by NASA and is operated to deliver bulky cargo and spacecraft parts. The length of the aircraft is 144 feet, and the wingspan is 157 feet. The carrying capacity of the aircraft is a little more than 24 tons. In the early 1970s, two Super Guppies were used by Airbus Industries to deliver large parts to the final assembly plant in Toulouse. In 1982 and 1983, two more aircrafts were built in France by UTA Industries after Airbus acquired the right to produce the aircraft. 
with the arrival of a new transport aircraft having similar configurations with Airbus Beluga, it was withdrawn from continuous operation. Number 6. Lockheed Martin C-130J Super Hercules This is an American military transport aircraft of medium and long range. It is the main military transport aircraft of the USA, NATO countries, and a number of other countries. It is the most common military transport aircraft in the world. It is operated by 65 countries. The carrying capacity of the aircraft, about 19 tons. Length, 98 feet, and wingspan, 131 feet. Since the end of the last century, the main production version of the C-130 aircraft was a modification of Lockheed Martin's C-130J. The main difference between the C-130J from its predecessor is the replacement of engines with more powerful Allison AE-211003 having six-blade propellers in the installation of the latest avionics. The aircraft is available in two versions, the usual C-130J and the one with the elongated fuselage called C-130J-30. C-130J cargo planes can accommodate 92 infantrymen with full kit or 64 paratroopers. C-130J-30 can take 128 infantrymen or 92 parachutists on board. The aircraft can parachute a light tank, Sheridan, as well as other weapons. Number 5. Airbus A300-600 S2 Beluga It is a jet cargo aircraft for transportation of bulky cargo, which was developed on the basis of the Airbus A300 series. The main purpose of the A300-600 ST is to replace the Super Guppy transport aircraft. The name Beluga is due to the shape of its body, which resembles a Beluga whale. Beluga's carrying capacity is 47 tons. The length and the wingspan are 183 feet and 147 feet, respectively. Parts of Airbus airliners, which are produced in four countries, are transported to the main plant by air for final assembly. It was for operational transportation that the A300-600ST Beluga was created. The volume of the cargo cabin of the unusual external aircraft was brought to 49,440 cubic feet, and the maximum length of the cargo transported in the aircraft can be up to 131 feet. The plane is lifted up by two turbojet engines produced by General Electric. The power of the two engines is enough to lift a big plane in the air, especially given the fact that it carries, in most cases, oversized and very heavy loads. Number 4. Antonov AN-124 Ruslan AN-124 is a heavy military transport aircraft for long-distance transportation. It is the world's largest commercial cargo aircraft. It was developed primarily for the air transportation of intercontinental ballistic missile launchers, as well as for the transportation of heavy military equipment. The carrying capacity of the AN-124 is 120 tons. The first flight of the aircraft took place on December 24, 1982. In 1985, it was first shown to Soviet journalists and then presented to the world community at the aviation exhibition in Paris. In the same year, AN-124 set 21 world records at once, including records of flight range and payload. The aircraft is designed according to the classic scheme with high and four turbojet engines. The cargo compartments can accommodate four Mi-8s a train car used in the subway or aircraft SSD-100 Superjet with removed wings and tail feathers. And the most amazing thing is that the AN-124 Ruslan can carry the Angora launch vehicle. Number 3. The Boeing 747 Dreamlifter This transport aircraft is a modified version of the Boeing 747. It was built and used exclusively to carry parts of the Boeing 787. The maximum capacity is 113 tons. The length of the aircraft is 236 feet, and the wingspan is 210 feet. A feature of Dreamlifter is an unusual appearance. The clumsy appearance is compounded by the fact that due to the need for immediate testing, the first model was not painted for a long time. Scott Carson, president of Boeing, apologized to the father of the Boeing 747, Joe Sutter, by saying, sorry for what we've done to your plane. The first loading of parts of 787 on the large cargo flyer was carried out in June of 2006. 
Delivery time of wings for Boeing 787 from Japan was reduced from 30 days by sea to 8 hours of flight due to the use of this aircraft. Number 2. The Antov AN-225 Mariah At the moment, it is the largest aircraft in the world with a length of 275 feet and a wingspan of 288 feet. Mariah has an extra large load capacity and can lift about 250 tons into the air. Initially, AN-225 was designed and built to carry components of the Angeria launch vehicle and the Buran reusable spacecraft. AN-225 is a six-engine turbojet with swept wings. It is equipped with six D-18T aircraft engines manufactured by Motorsick. Unlike Ruslan, Myra has only one cargo hatch, which is located in the nose of the aircraft. Just like its predecessors, Mariah can modify its clearance and the fuselage angle, which is extremely convenient for loading and unloading. And number one, Airbus A400M Atlas. A400M Atlas was designed and built as an international project for the air forces of France, Germany, Italy, the UK, and several other countries. It is a four-engine turboprop aircraft with a capacity of up to 37 tons. Airbus A400M has wings made of carbon fiber and reinforced plastic. Eight blade screws made of composite material are used as propellers. The screws on each wing rotate in the opposite direction, which is rarely used. The aircraft is equipped with a cargo ramp on which it is possible to install cargo and equipment weighing at least six tons. This will allow the deployment of all major weapons without prior disassembly, including AN-64, Tiger, A-129, UMA, HNH-90 helicopters, artillery pieces, including 203mm howitzers and M110, multiple launch rocket systems and armored personnel carriers. In addition to the cargo, the aircraft can accommodate 116 personnel members or 66 stretchers with wounded on board. As for the size of the aircraft, its length is 148 feet, and the wingspan is 138 feet. That's all guys, thanks for watching. Write in the comments which of the aircrafts you like the most, and also hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss our upcoming cool videos.